that that's the kind of desperate smear, smear attacks they're doing. I've been married for 35 years. I hit the lottery with a great wife and four kids, and it's despicable what those guys are doing. It's always the most homophobic people that are the most closeted gays. For those of you who don't know, this is Bernie Moreno, a Senate candidate running in Ohio, very conservative, endorsed by Trump, J.D. Vance, and the like. And wouldn't you know it, they found an old gay dating profile of his. Now, the profile is very old, and he claims that it was made as a prank by one of his assistants way back when. We don't have concrete proof that he made this profile, but it makes sense. And Bernie, an old story conveniently resurfaced, um, stunk to high heaven today, existence of some 2008 profile on an adult website. It's a late hit, no doubt, um, but how can you reassure voters that it, this is all nonsense? Well, it's complete nonsense. Uh, unfortunately, uh, somebody did it as a prank back in 16 years ago, admitted to it, poor guy, really good person that did it. The AP knew it was fake. The news media has gotten so disgusting that for them to publish a story that even the National Enquirer right. would not have run shows you the depth of depravity that our mainstream media is all about because they're so desperate to have an America last pro-Ukraine, uh, basically squishy, spineless Republican in the United States Senate to blunt President Trump's agenda, that that's the kind of desperate smear, smear attacks they're doing. I've been married for 35 years. I hit the lottery with a great wife and four kids, and it's despicable what those guys are doing. Listen, buddy, I don't know how your gay profile is linked to Ukraine, but okay. Like I said, we don't have concrete proof, but this wouldn't be the first time that an incredibly homophobic Republican was outed as secretly gay. His name is George Reekers. Remember that name? He was famous for being one of the founders of the Family Research Council, one of the original super anti-gay conservative culture war groups that became very influential in Republican politics. In the 1980s, George Reekers was a founder of the Family Research Council. He specifically worked in, in the part of anti-gay politics that, that says that people can be cured of the gay. It can, it can be reversed with just the right therapy. Well, by 2010, there was George Reekers being photographed at the airport in Miami in the company of a handsome young man named Lucien, uh, who Mr. Reekers had apparently met on rentboy.com. Mr. Reekers f first tried to explain that he had taken this handsome young man on an all-expenses-paid 10-day trip to Europe because he needed help with his luggage. The young man himself, seen here, not helping with the luggage, eventually explained exactly what he was paid for on that European trip. And George Reekers ultimately resigned from his job at the anti-gay organization. I'm just saying it's pretty damning. What's surprising, yet yeah, funnily enough, these allegations have not prevented Trump from endorsing Bernie on his campaigns. America first champion Bernie Marino to the U.S. Senate. And Bernie, if I could, I'd like to have you come up and say a few words, please. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Republican nominee for 2024. And the future 47th president of the United States of America. You know, I want to clear something up. I want to clear something up for everybody here. I am so sick and tired of Republicans that will say, I support President Trump's policies, but I don't like the man. This is a good man. This is a great American. This man wakes up every day fighting for us, fighting for this country. He loves this country like no other leader. Bernie, I don't think he loves you back the same way. But I think Trump likes him because Bernie doesn't really know much, which probably makes him pretty easy to puppet. You get to heaven. And imagine what that's like, what that feels like. And imagine who you get to meet. You get to meet the 55 people that signed our Declaration of Independence. You get to meet James Madison. 
Abraham Lincoln, John Jay, Alexander Hamilton, George Washington. Abraham Lincoln? No, he's right. Don't look it up. Abraham Lincoln was there. He signed it. He could have left it with the people who signed the Declaration of Independence. He didn't have to name names at all. But he went for it. Hey, I, it paid off. Anyway, don't vote for Bernie. He's an absolute disaster in more ways than one. And no one is harder on the gays than a closeted homosexual. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can check out my personal YouTube channel at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.